I have some journals ready I would like to show you today. These are calendar planner journals. They're made to be used throughout the year and they have a month. Each has a monthly calendar, 12 monthly calendars in them. I'll start... I'll see if I can get this all into one video, but it might be kind of long. But here we go. We'll start with this one. It's a, a made out of a gutted book. I had some book covers that I bought that were already gutted. It is a real challenge for me to cut old books apart. So if I buy the cover already gutted, uh, it's just a lot easier for me. <laughs> I feel less guilty. Uh, it has some piece of fabric and an embellishment on the cover. Four sewn in signatures, a little bead angel charm dangle and it's just has some fabric tied around it for a closure so then we open it up it has just some muslin um, over the spine so I, I wanted it to be kind of a softer journal I didn't want the spine to be so hard has some fabric pockets, some little bead work here, and then just some little journal pages. This is one of my dress tags glued on there. And there's a pocket here with some stamping. The let me see if I can explain this here. The calendar, the calendar journal planner is a kit that's uh, available in my Etsy store, so you can make your own. Um, the pages are like this. They're printed on, uh, I designed them to print out on 11, 8.5 by 14. So this is 8.5 by 14. Uh, let's see. Also, I did do two of them across the 8 inch, 8.5 inch width, and uh, that's what gave me this smaller journal. You know, you can kind of, you can, you can even um, cut off this to-do list flap, and then if you fold it in half, you just have your normal eight and a half, eight, eight and a half by eleven inch. So that kind of explains how you can print out. This is also another way you can print it out. This is on eight and a half by eleven with the flap on it. So that gives you about three different sizes of journals you can make with that printout. And this is the flap that's folded over, and then this is your your page. Um, this is a January page, so uh, the kit also has a sheet of these little uh, one-inch circles that you can just punch out, and um, you know, say you're going to have wine with a friend or something, you can put. You can use them. You can either print them out on, or just glue them in or print them out on sticker paper, but they kind of depict the different... Um, let me get the printout sheet here. It's kind of a lot to explain. This is the this is what the sheet looks like when it comes as a printable. Some Halloween and Fourth of July and snowman and school, going back to school. There's a bike. April showers, little owl, and they. I just used my one inch punch and punched them out. So that works pretty slick. And I used some lace on the edge. I kind of embellished this one a little bit and then the, some of the pages are glued together for pockets. This just has some graph paper in. There is also 12 printable sheets that can be folded to go into all your pockets and I'll show you that I don't know if there's that many in this journal but another one has all of them in and this has got a little charm with a little bead and a clock it's a February page now the challenge was or is when you put it together you know you can't really stick all the pages inside the calendar page because then you lose your your calendar surface the wide open surface I suppose you could uh, or you'd have to make 12 signatures well I tried to figure out a way where I could do it with uh, just the four signatures and still have the pages 
um, have pages in between and also my calendar. So I'll explain that in the journal that's not quite put together yet. This is another little journal page in here. Another journal card, different fabrics. Another journal card in here with some stamping. So, you know, each calendar then has this little cute graphic on it. Just another pocket here, places to write. This is May, this is Mom. Another little owl and the bead ring on here. Some stamping on the pages. This one I aged. One of them I just left white. Some people don't like coffee dyeing. And when you print out your kit, you can create it however you would like. So that's kind of how this one goes through. Uh, has some lace on the pocket here with some beadwork. Uh, it's a little coffee cup there. Our pages and tuck spots, places to journal, places to keep track of what you have going on. You can use it as a planner. Sometimes it's just nice to have a calendar to book, open up, write things in, carry it with you. Another pocket, another angel. This is the there's a another little PDF file in the kit. It's it's a printable. Has some cut lines around it too, so you can cut it out successfully. Because I <laughs> I did not, but there are cut lines on. It. It says ideas and goals, and this side is acts of kindness and favorite memories. So you can print out, you know, as many of these as you want to fill in your pockets. It's October, another pocket here, places to write. I'll have the breakdown of how many pages I'll, this will be in my Etsy store. So you can go over and look at look at that and see now I said this one has different things in the pockets not the 12 page printables so uh, oh there's a corner I always cut the corners off and little corners all over the place and this is the last page with the little journal trifold page and then that's the back so that is the one calendar planner planner journal and uh, let's go through this one. This is the this one doesn't have any coffee dyeing at all. Has a sorry, like boat oh bow tie quilt piece squares that I put on the book cover. Had some trim here and some beadwork trim, and this has an angel bead dangle, and has the four sewn in signatures. And this one has a little pocket here with the tag ticket. And now this is. Like I said, there's no coffee dyeing in this one. This one's all white. So it just has some little journal spot in it here with a puppy on it. Looking at a snail. And then in the pocket, here's my little printable that goes in. You know, you can write the things down. Journal inside. Put it in the pockets. Stick things in these pockets here. Write your list on your flap. And then here's your month at a glance and then this one has all the the printable for each month this one has a Chris, uh, winter scene and a snowman and it just folds in half and then they fit right into those pockets and there's February this one just uh, you know you if you want a pocket here you can just glue this page down some of them I didn't do that with um, so this is another printable in my Etsy store. It's a Valentine recipe card sheet. It's got this four different Valentine cards on there. So I put one of those in here. I just paper clipped it in. This one has the February sheets. Not these are the sheets are in the kit. So you can print out again as many of those as you want. March. This one just has a little fan card laying in there, and this is the March card. It opens up. It's, they fold in half. And it, the, the cards fit in if you 
make your journal the uh, page the 11 by the eight and a half by 14. So if you print your journal off smaller, then you'll have to size down your um, your journal pages too. So this is April. It's a little vintage image with the bunnies and some kids on the back. Some pocket here. I didn't do any stamping. I suppose you could call this one kind of a naked journal. This says mom. I, I believe if this is going to be your calendar planner uh, for what you do and for your things, then you would want to do you know, your own stamping or your own pockets and your own design. So this is I Love You Mom. It's the May sheet. Printable sheet. And those are in the kit. Those 12 pages. This is Father's Day for June. This is just a piece of note paper laying in the flap. This is July. This has the flag images on the July. And the coffee. This is August. There's a bee and a teacup that says August on it. September has like school, back to school, and a tree changing colors. Yes, tree is on the September calendar. It's October and it has the leaves and the pumpkin. Jack o' lantern, I suppose it would be called. And there's some designer paper in here. This is November. And this is the November card with the pumpkin and the, the fall tea party. And then December. And then has this little folded Christmas image page in it. And a couple more pages and then that's the back. So that is that's that journal. It doesn't have any aging to the pages. And then this is the third one. It has this little, this is a fabric bead with some beads and a tree, tree of life. Uh, this image is not glued on. I, I, I just like the book cover. It has this, I don't know what that is. If it's a bat or a, I just like the image of the, I th I'll call it a bird. <laughs> So this goes with it, but it just sticks in there. It has a nice look to it. And then I, again, slide off my closures, four sewn in signatures. And then this one has a little pocket with a ticket and a tag. And this just has all different kinds of... Um, Retro or yeah, retro fabrics, feed sack fabrics on the sides of each monthly page, and then again has the monthly page inside. And this does have coffee dyeing to the pages. These are dyed as well, but they're not quite as dark as the pages are. It's a big fabric tab on there. Uh, again. Some stamping and again it's pretty much the same just has the fabric on the edges there's a tea card tucked in there June so it's pretty much like the last one it just has the aged pages and then the fabric on the on the edges. So that gives you another idea of what what you can do with it or what it can look like. Put my little closure back on with my little image. And then I have the two smaller ones. So we'll do this one first. It's just tied shut with this 
dainty little uh, trim piece because I didn't really want the I didn't want to cover up much on the cover. There's a little spoon tag in this little sifter. It says create. It's a fabric cover. These are little quilted squares are and some trim on the edge. And um, hang on, just okay. I brought the journal up just a little closer to the camera. Has some paper on the inside, some pockets, little journal card. And this is now, this is also the calendar planner, uh, just the smaller size. So it has two pockets. This is this little folded sheet. Goes in here with some trim glued on the edge. Some little tassels. Says make a wish. And here's the size of your calendar page then. I guess this would be more like a pocket size. And this has just journal cards and journal pages in the pockets. So it's a little bit different. These are folded pieces of paper with trim on that kind of coordinate with the page across from it. A little, uh, little clock with bead ring on the fabric tab. Another little piece in there. This has uh, the small journals have some little altered paper clips in them. So there's an envelope in this one. I think the pockets each have something in. Here's a this is on a paper clip. I think each of the pockets, this, this is designed just a little bit different. You know, I've been kind of creating these journals so long, I'm not remembering how exactly I did it. I believe that I glued, like this would be the page, back page. And then I glued it to this page. I think I made three or four signatures, but they're all just kind of glued together and then glued in. I want to glue this in and it held that in because it's not real big and it's not real heavy, but it, it lays open nice and um, has the the journal pages that all open up like that and yeah then the flap doesn't go you know the flap is just onto the page so that's <laughs> oh my goodness I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying but they're fun to create you can kind of put them together however you want but this is just how I did it so this one says dream has a picture they have so, they have sewing around them too this is another fabric one with some beading pieces on it uh, same type of um, quilted fabric for the cover um, I think this had a fabric these are fabric hinges kind of holding the book to the cover I might have to make a tutorial. <laughs> this is just a journal spot that goes in here. And this has stamping. And then again, in each one of the pockets are different little journal spots that are embellished and coordinate with the pockets. And the pockets are slid open just a little bit. I always like to kind of fold back my, you know, so you can see something's in there and you got a place to grab onto it. Embellished paper clip up here. This one kind of has the pink floral theme throughout the inside with some lace edging on the folded and then there's a page not in each page but in each section there's one page you know you want to put your own things in them too so it's a little bit of washi tape on this one you can do stamping on them or I didn't put too much I put the trim on the insert pages so then that all kind of sticks out um, so that's pretty similar then to the the one I showed you before this one this has a little different fabric and pockets on the inside covers 
So that is the two small journals. And if you're interested in making your own kit, just remember you can go over to my Etsy store and um, buy your little printable kit and create your your own journal. You can make it as big as you want. And I also have the, the circles and then the, I don't have a printout of the inside pages. I have this printable for Valentine uh, recipe cards. And this is another new printable I have. Someone had asked me if I'd do any ATC cards, so I thought I could. So I kind of played around with, made some vintage ba Valentine ones. So those are in the store. And then uh, I'll just have the journals listed in my Etsy store. Remember the one is not aged at all. The pages are just uh, white, which is a real pretty look too. And then I have the two smaller ones. So you can hop over to the Etsy store and see which one you like. Or you can purchase the kit and create your own. And I also have, uh, let me get these out of the way here. I was just gonna, maybe I can kind of tell you. It's so hard for me to create, to have the time to create tutorials. I don't have large chunks of time when I can make journals. But now this is, uh, this is um, the one that is not done. So uh, as you can see, I have my book cover and I just put my linen in there to, and this is a pretty heavy linen. And I just wanted to firm up my binding. And uh, let me get this out of the way here. Okay. Now this, these journal pages are all ready to get glued together and then into the book. So I, I have some designer paper that is the size that will fit in my book. Fold up the edge, it makes a pocket. Then the January page flap goes on like that. And then what I do is I add some glue here and here, probably there too. And then I glue that to that page so that they stay together. because it doesn't really go in like that where you you know connect all your pages by the inside so that's how that then those two are adhered together so then you know I think what I'm gonna do is make a tutorial on when I put this together and then if someone um, you know wants to create it exactly the way that I do then you'll be able to follow along with that but what it does is it creates um, these four, once they're all together, it creates four signatures, and then uh, the like the second month, February, and then uh, April, June. Those are the months that have the that I sew in because so many of the pages then are wrapped around that one. So <laughs> I'll try, probably try, have to try to make a tutorial on that too. So it took me a while to figure out how to do that. So, um, well, you can hop over to my Etsy store and uh, kind of go with what's over there for now. And I'll get back to you again uh, if I, once I get this tutorial made on how to assemble them. I thank you for watching. Um, and um, thank you so much to all my subscribers and people from my Etsy store for my 2018 year. It was a really good year for me. I am very appreciative of everyone that visits my store every day and um, helps me out with my, keeps me creating and excited. And I, I really like all the comments on the YouTube channel. I just love to read them. That makes my day. So I um, appreciate all of you. Thank you.